okay, that's fine. You have no right. Because you won't, I pay for the food and you won't even give it to me. I'm the one should call out the police because you're stealing my food. Turn me up. Yes. I have a pick up here. Adam. Someone already got it? Yes. How you doing, man? Oh, you're on a bike, man. Yes, sir. So it's so efficient. And I don't have to pay for gas and all that. I am not a student, no. Delivery is as good as a side hustle, you know? A bit of extra income. Normally you have a certain person that delivers to our outpost. Is that an outpost order? No. It's just an individual. Okay, I guess. I never had anyone do that, though. I hear uh, Uber takes away the tips. They do. Yeah. But just, just a second. Have you taken a photo of me? Yeah, because you won't Delete. give me my food. Delete it. You won't give me my food. Just I'll call the police for Paying £4.50, and it's about, probably about 8 to 10 minutes on my bike. Number 15, Biker Goes Wild. Yikes, that's definitely not how you handle a no-tip situation. This driver's all about getting that extra appreciation, but refusing to give the customer her food? That's a bit extreme. Things escalate when the customer pulls out the camera, catching this showdown. The rider's furious, claiming it's illegal to snap his pick and even threatening to call the cops. Sounds like a messy situation. Hopefully, there's a better way to handle tip requests without turning into a scene from a legal drama. Okay, that's fine. You have no because you won't. I pay for the food and you won't even give it to me. I'm the one should call out the police because you're stealing my food. To delete my food. Okay, you won't give me my food. food. You are terrible. I will report this to uh, you Uber oh, Eats. Okay. okay. But just, just a second. Have you taken a photo of me? Yeah, because you won't delete give it. me my food. Delete it. You won't give me my food. Just I'll call the police for it. You have no right to take a photo of me. Because you won't I'll give me my you. food. Number 14. You a cop, bro? Our fearless rider stumbles upon a package so fancy, it practically sparkles. With the finesse of a culinary courier, he delivers the treasure to its eagerly awaiting destination. Easy peasy, right? But lo and behold, as he zooms toward the next adventure, he stumbles upon a street-side skirmish. An enraged chap, locked in fisticuffs with another, spots our rider and declares, Are you a cop? Blinking in surprise, our rider denies the accusation. The enraged chap squints, scrutinizing him and exclaims, you look like one. Number 13. Shocked customer. What a ride! This delivery guy's out there breaking norms, zipping around town on a bike to snag Katie's order. Mid-wait, he casually requests peanuts from the waiter. Random, but he gets them. Then off he pedals, being the eco-warrior delivery hero. He's all about that green life, dodging traffic with finesse. But plot twist at the drop-off, the customer's expecting a car. No biggie for our cyclist, though. He's saving cash. How you doing, man? You're on a bike, man. Yes, sir. So it's so efficient. And I don't have to pay for gas and all that. Katie, can I get a bag of peanuts? Oh, man. Oh, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. They're quick, too, because I really stop at red lights. Yeah. Looking for somebody in the car. All right, man. Have a good one, all right? Appreciate you. No problem. Beating jams and being the eco-coolest in the delivery game. Who knew bikes could steal the show like this? Number 12. Here comes the popo. Talk about a close call. This rider, hustling with Sean's order, accidentally breezes through a red light and boom, a wild encounter with a cop. But hold up, plot twist, the cop's a fan, recognizes this delivery whiz from his videos and cuts him some slack. Phew, lucky break. And as if that's not enough, another fan pops up, showering compliments on the rider's videos right after the cop chat. Talk about turning a heart-stopping moment into a fan meet-and-greet. Number 11. Frustrated Rider Uh-oh, not another food vanishing act. This rider heads to butter me up, eager for Adam's order, only to discover it's vanished into thin air, already claimed. Oops. Quick thinking kicks in. He dials up customer support, striving for that order cancellation and the precious $3 refund. After a tad bit of a wait, success. Turn me up. Yes. I have a pick up here. Adam? Yeah. Someone already got it? Yes. Hey, how you doing? Can we help you with you on the line? Found that this experience can be unexpected, confusing, or, you know, kind of frustrating. I'd how long has it been going for? About 30, 40 minutes, sir. All right. I appreciate you. Thank you. You said how much, how many dollars will I get for that? Uh, it will be three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. Persistence pays off yet again in this roller coaster of unexpected delivery mishaps. Number 10. Rider gets yelled at. That's one wild ride. The rider steps into the restaurant and, whoa, gets a stern talking to from the chef about the head-mounted camera. Initially tense, right? But here comes the plot twist. The chef flips the vibe, 
turning it into a joke about her sister's surprise spotting. Then, a co-worker jumps in with a compliment, defusing the tension. Cue laughter, the mood lightens up, and as the rider heads out, they drop a playful hint for the chef to keep an eye on their page. Who'd have thought a potentially awkward moment could transform into such a fun, easy-going exchange? Number 9. Good Deeds Matter During a routine food delivery mission, the Uber biker unexpectedly found himself amidst a fiery spectacle, adding a spicy twist to his culinary journey. Unfazed, he executed the delivery with the panache of a culinary superhero, capturing photographic evidence for posterity before hastily returning to his route. In an unforeseen turn of events, a seasoned elder engaged in a tussle with trash bags emerged on the scene, making refuse her arch nemesis. Our intrepid biker, embracing the mantle of kindness, leaped into action, assisting her in the pursuit of garbage glory. In doing so, he infused an unexpected flavor of heroism into his day. Number 8. Exposed As the biker zoomed towards his chicken fillet mission, he breezed through the guarded gates, nodding at the sentinel. Elevator ride secured, he felt like a culinary knight on a quest, but on his descent, the guard eyeballed him intensely. Whoa, a surprise party in the flesh, the guard blurted, expected a chicken courier, not a skyscraper on a bike. You're taller than my cousin's height claims combined. The biker chuckled, seeing how even deliveries spun unexpected tall tales. Life's full of surprises, one wheelie at a time. Number 7. It's a Side Hustle Our two-wheeled maestro, the biker with a delivery destiny, rolls into the store like a culinary cowboy on a mission. The store security guard, ever the inquisitive gatekeeper, eyes him up and quips, You a student? Our biker, a rebel with a delivery cause, shakes his head, revealing a secret life beyond textbooks. Nah, this is my side hustle, he smirks, the wind of opportunity ruffling his hair. As he snags the order, he mentally high-fives his financial acumen. The security guard, perhaps contemplating his own life choices, watches the biker pedal away into the urban sunset, earning a cool 4.66 pounds, proving that sometimes, the coolest stories unfold in the unlikeliest side hustles. I am not a student, no. Delivery is as good as a side hustle, you know, a bit of extra income. We've accepted an order on Deliveroo. Oh, what you uh, I got a delivery order, 0144. 12 minutes away. Let's just wait for these guys to cross. Paying £4.50 and it's about, probably about 8 to 10 minutes on my bike. And one there's for you. Thank you very much. Bye. Number 6. Going through a lot. What a whirlwind delivery. The rider grabs the customer's order and heads out, sharing a chat with a co-worker about work being sluggish due to Memorial Day. Back on the route, he's cruising with this mammoth cup. But wait, surprise at the drop-off. Customers in tears, mid-conversation with someone. The rider steps in, offers comfort, and checks in on them. It's a reminder that everyone's dealing with something, and a little empathy goes a long way, even during a simple delivery. You never know how much a kind word can mean to someone in need. Number 5. It's Routine Work Our delivery dynamo, on a quest for pounds and pedal-powered glory, snags an order with the determination of a caffeine-fueled cheetah. Bag in tow, he navigates the urban jungle, weaving through traffic like a culinary ninja. Destination? Up the hill a challenge that would make even mountain goats pause for breath. Undeterred, our two-wheeled hero cranks up the gears, putting the leg in legwork. With the precision of a GPS-guided hawk, he reaches the peak, delivering the coveted feast. The reward? A sweet 3.66 pounds, earned through sheer pedal-pushing perseverance. But wait, the saga doesn't end there. As the journey concludes, our rider wisely hydrates. Number 4 strangest order ever. Sounds like a delivery saga filled with unnecessary hurdles. This rider's on a mission for Christina's order, but the first hurdle hits. Receptionist at the drop-off point blocks him from leaving the food there. Upstairs, another blockade, as the second lobby refuses the delivery. Finally, after a frustrating back and forth, a different location is suggested. Yet again, a staff member stirs up an argument before the rider can finally drop off the food and escape this labyrinthine journey. Some days, people really know how to make simple things far more complicated than they should be. Just leaving some food here. 
All right. Christina. Oops. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Normally, we have a certain person that delivers through our outpost. Is that an outpost order? No. It's, an it's just an individual. Okay. I guess hey, I can leave food here, right? Oh, awesome. Uh-oh. <laughs> Number three. Where's your apartment? Our fearless rider snags your order with a grin. Just a quick 600-yard sprint to the apartments, easy four bucks, right? But wait, the plot thickens. Entering the colossal apartment building, room 172 is a mystery. The hall takes him on a wild goose chase, teasing with 171. Luck or the lack of it? Just when you think it's game over, our hero triumphs. Room 172, you've been found. Number two, pro tipper. That's touching, right? This rider's in the usual delivery routine with the security guard and bam, the guard's all about ensuring the rider gets a direct tip, bypassing Uber's potential swipe. That's some serious thoughtfulness. Directly tip into the rider's cash app. Now that's a whole new level of kindness in action. All right, man. Thank you. Hey, uh, what's, what's your cash app? Uh, you have cash app? I do. Oh, okay. Can I just leave some food with you guys? It says some food drop off with security, real quick. I'm sorry, man. I never had anyone do that. Though. I hear uh, Uber takes away from tips. They do. Yeah. Number one, kindest customer ever. What a turn of events for our Uber Eats rider. Grabbing Mac's order, our delivery hero faces a hurdle. Can't locate Mac anywhere. Mistaking a random 70th floor door for Mac's spot, the order finds an accidental home. A quick call to Mac saves the day rerouting the delivery to the correct building. There stands Mac, patient and gracious at the entrance. No hint of frustration, just understanding. Now that's a heartwarming surprise. Customers like Mac? They're the true champions, turning mishaps into moments of appreciation and positivity. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.